Guys, I've hit a wall. And it's a wall so tall, so sturdy, and so magnificent in its structural integrity that a Republican would vote for it. Come along this journey, and I'll let you know exactly what's going on. And maybe you've been through it too. I don't know, maybe, maybe. I'm in a place right now where every single newly released game just kind of looks the same to me. It's either a first person shooter or a battle royale or a survival game or some weird abomination combination of the three. And I'm kind of honestly just getting tired of the games that I play on a regular basis as it is. I currently have 202 games on my wish list on Steam. I don't want to buy any of these. I have 356 games already in my library. I don't have to purchase them. All I have to do is fire them up. I scroll through. I don't want to play any of these either. And this is just Steam. This isn't including my smaller libraries in Epic, Origins, Uplay, or God forbid I break out one of my consoles. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, weird flex. Who cares? What's the point? Here's where I'm at. I'll play a new game for about a week. I'll have a great time. I'll make some live content out of it, make some jokes, have a really fun time with my community, and everything seems fine. And I'm thinking, fantastic. I finally found a game that I can grind out for a little bit, squeeze as much content out of that I possibly can, and still have a great time doing it. And then it happens. My brain decides, you're done. Hey man, you know that game that you're having a fantastic time with right now? Uh-huh. The game that you think that you're gonna focus on for a while in your channel and you're gonna be able to squeeze as much content out of as possible while also having a simultaneously good time? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, what about it? Well, you're done. You're done. Everything about that game sucks. It's dumb. Everything about you sucks also, by the way, and you're also dumb. Grab the gas can and a match because uh, we're torching this sucker. Next! So I go on the search loop. And if you're a gaming content creator in any facet, way, shape, or form, you'll know the search loop that I'm talking about. You get on Steam, you go to the store, or your library, or your wish list, and you scroll, and scroll, and scroll, and scroll some more, just looking for something that pops out or looks interesting. And none of it does. You're sitting here trying to find anything that looks appealing. You're even thinking to yourself, well, shit, maybe I can do a retro stream. Maybe I can just break out some old consoles of my, oh, fucking, oh, never mind. Just nothing that you try sounds appealing at all. And this is what I do for 99% of my time off. Mostly scrolling through my library, scrolling through all of the different platforms that I have, all of the different games that I have, all of the different options that I have to play video games right now, and none of it sounds good. And if I actually do find anything that I think about playing, well, just rewind the video a little bit and you'll see where that goes. NEXT! This isn't a sad video or a video that's supposed to make you feel sorry for me. Oh, poor streamer man. He has no games to play. What is he supposed to do? He'll never make it on the internet now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Because it's really a first world problem and really a non-issue. I kind of just want to know if I'm alone. Am I alone in this? If you're watching this right now, I'm assuming that you probably have went through this at one point in time. Are we in a period of the year where there's just a drought in games? Am, am I too picky? How do I fix this? Is this what burnout feels like? I keep hearing about it, but I've honestly never experienced it in my life. Maybe, maybe this is burnout. Fuck. With all of that being said, there's a ton of games that are going to be released this year that look amazing. And I'm honestly looking forward to all of them. We got the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake, Halo Infinite, Star Wars Squadrons, Cyberpunk, and shit, even the new Assassin's Creed looks good this year. But at this moment right now, I'm just kind of aimlessly scrolling through my library, just hoping that something looks fantastic. And I'm honestly just waiting. So here's what I want to end the video with. If you've made it this far, I'm just going to assume that you have definitely went through this as well. But I will pose the question, have you been through this? What was the game that got you out of it? What did you do to get yourself out of it? Did you ever get out of the funk? Tell me in the comments below. Let's, let's talk.